As a SOTA operator using QRP radios and unoptimal aerials, it's important to me to get the very most out of what I've got, which is why I've been a keen user of Whisper to analyse different aerial performance. Lugging a laptop, interface and radio up to a hilltop just to perform a test doesn't really appeal, which is why I've been a big fan of the Whisper Lite self-contained Whisper transmitter. In early 2018, Sota Beams upgraded the standard Whisper Lite Classic to create the Whisper Lite Flexi. So let's have a look at what's new. Hi, it's Michael, G0POT. So about a year ago, Sota Beams launched the Whisper Lite, a tiny self-contained whisper transmitter solution for 630, 160, 80, 40, 30 and 20 meters, providing up to 200 milliwatts on each of the six bands. This little marvel was offered in conjunction with DXplorer, a web-based analysis tool that enabled users to compare their results with other stations, making the whole package a rather useful aid to investigating aerial design, performance and propagation. A year on and Sota Beams have updated the package with a new Whisper Lite Flexi that builds on the success of the Whisper Lite Classic, adding new bands and a few enhanced features. If you've never seen the Whisper Lite, then check out my review, which gives you all the details on what the Whisper Lite is, how to set it up, and how to use it to analyze your aerials. I've put a link in the description below. In this update, I thought I'd concentrate on the new features offered by the Whisper Lite Flexi, and also other developments in the configuration utility that we've seen over the last year. So what's fundamentally new? Physically, the Flexi is still the same small and lightweight transmitter as its predecessor, measuring in identically at 56 by 50 by 70 millimeters, or for our American friends, approximately 2.2 by 2 by 0.7 of an inch, and weighing just 43 grams or 1.5 ounces. It has a single control button on the front and an indicator LED to report operating status. It uses a micro USB connection for both configuring and powering the unit and an SMA female socket to connect to your aerial. It now packs in 11 bands from 630 meters all the way up to 6 meters. The configuration tool may not include 60 meters by default for regulatory reasons, but users have compiled the configuration tool to include it if that's important to you. It still provides a maximum of 200 milliwatts output across all of the supported bands with the exception of 6 meters, where the hardware will not deliver 200 milliwatts reliably. So Richard limits this to 100 milliwatts for this band. The Whisper Lite Classic included built-in low-pass filtering for 20 and 30 meters, but always needed an external low-pass filter for the lower bands. The Flexi has no built-in low-pass filtering, and so an external solution is recommended. I've built my own low-pass filter, but Sota Beams do stock a few options, including a three-band low-pass filter kit aimed at the Whisper Lights that you can configure for any three bands from 160 meters up to six meters. Whisper has really become extremely popular over the last couple of years, so Richard has introduced two new features to help the Flexi address this. Note that you'll need to be using version 1.2.1 or later of the configuration utility to get access to some of the new features. The first of those features is an interference avoidance algorithm that uses statistical data on the frequency distribution of whisper transmitters to help it to pick frequencies that have more chance of being clear. It also uses a much higher proportion of the available WISPA spectrum, again helping to reduce the chances of interference to and from other WISPA users. Users also have the ability to set their own transmit frequency on the Flexi, a feature not supported on the Classic. If you own or have access to more than one WISPA light, it's possible to synchronise their transmissions. To do this, make sure both units have the latest firmware and configure them with different call signs and the same percentage repeat rate, and then start them at exactly the same time. I do this by starting one connected to an aerial and a second connected to a dummy load. I can then move to the location of the second aerial and connect the second whisper light to it during a two minute window when the device is not transmitting. 
One of the interesting features of the Whisper Lite is that due to its small size and low power consumption, it can be set up to run almost anywhere for long periods of time. Whisper transmissions are a little time critical, however. Therefore, it's important for the device to keep good time, otherwise it will transmit out of sequence, simply causing QRM. To ensure the device stays within the timing tolerances, the Whisper Lite Classic is limited to running uninterrupted for 30 days. Design improvements have allowed the Flexi to extend this to up to 45 days. Note also that if you're using a USB power pack, they may switch themselves into standby due to the intermittent low current draw of the Whisper Lights. Soda beams do produce a little keep alive dongle, which can be placed in series between your battery and the Whisper Lite to overcome this. When the Whisper Lite was launched, the configuration utility used to set it up only ran on a PC, and given the very portable nature of the Whisper Lite, many people asked for an app to allow them to use a tablet or mobile phone to load the configuration. Soda Beam's duly delivered, and an Android app is now available. There's also a MacOS version of the configuration utility for us Mac users, available via the Whisper Lite Facebook group. This has been updated to support the new Whisperlite Flexi features. While trialing the Whisperlite Flexi and Whisperlite Classic, I tried setting the two devices up on two HF loops to compare the performance of both. I synchronized the two Whisperlites to transmit at the same time and then set them up on the loops. I immediately noticed that one wasn't getting as many hits and when I listened to my transmissions, I could hear distortion on one of the signals. This was caused by my using a poor quality USB supply. You can hear the difference between a good quality supply or battery, where the transmissions sound like this, and a poor quality USB supply, where the transmission sounds like this. Be aware of this when powering your device. If in doubt, or if you find yourself having problems, Soda Beams produce a power conditioner kit to provide a clean supply for your Whisper Lite. The Whisper Lite has been extremely popular and I find it incredibly useful and super quick and easy to use for testing aerials or monitoring my local propagation. The Flexi builds on the success of the Classic and gives some useful additional features and of course a whole lot of extra bands including 6 meters. To find out more about the Flexi get along to www.sotabeams.co.uk. Now whether you're into Whisper or Worked All Britain get out there and enjoy your radio.